Samkele, good morning. I mean, in that introduction, uh, we're referring to the state capture inquiry. We're referring to the fact that at least one cabinet minister, Nomvula Mukonyana in particular, has been implicated in all sorts of allegations of corruption and bribery at the state capture inquiry. Did this, do you think, came up? Do you think cabinet would have discussed this at all? At this point in time, Braden, one wouldn't be too certainly sure whether this cabinet, Lehutla, which began yesterday, did discuss the issue of uh, particularly the Minister of Environmental Affairs. That would be Nomvula Mukonyane and her relationship or alleged relationship by Angelo Gridzi and uh, former uh, uh, Busasa officials such as the, 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 the CFO who uh, testified yesterday at the State Capture Commission of Inquiry, confirming all of the allegations Angelo Agrizo, the former COO, had been making against the former minister and how she was bribed with, uh, uh, with Busasa money with uh, about uh, 300,000 rands and also going on uh, to speak about uh, how her daughter was bought an Audi A3 or a Cambrolet or a luxury vehicle for her use and how those, those relationships ended up going to her getting uh, groceries, frozen chickens over the festive season where she, uh, when we spoke to her, at the ANC's uh, ANC Lukhutla, she said she was very jovial, laughing, and saying that some of these resources she was receiving from Busasa were for her to spoil her community where she comes from in Kahiso. But what's been staggering here, Pradhan, is that Busasa still has about 1.5 billion rands worth of contracts with the Department of Correctional Services. So Michael Masuta, the minister there, has some answers to answer to on why they are still continuing and uh, to do business with Busasa after all the allegations or re the revelations that have been revealed by a former chief operations officer of Busasa and how they had various government officials and heads of various prisons and uh, correctional services being on the payroll uh, apart from their salaries from Busasa some receiving luxurious uh, vehicles for their entire families being bought by Busasa such as Mercedes-Benz for themselves and luxury vehicles for their wives and, uh, and, polo, uh, for their ch and polos for their children. So it, it brings about the question, why is Busasa still doing uh, business with government? Why have Busasa's bank accounts not yet been closed, like we have seen with the Gupta family, who were so much politically exposed as well and had the banks closing their bank accounts? But not, none such a treatment that was given to the Guptas has been given to Busasa. They are continuing uh, with business as usual. And with uh, their implicated uh, chief, uh, uh, chief executive officer, the CEO, Gavin Watson, still out and about wherever he is whilst he has gone into hibernation and also those allegations coming out that he tried to bribe Angelo Agrizi with 50 million rands so he could shut up. But that's not only the issues that are amongst uh, that may deliber be deliberated at this cabinet, Lehutla, issues such as the standoff between Vodacom and the MEC of education here in Gauteng and various civic society organizations that may be protesting today with that 10 o'clock deadline that they've been given to that they have given to Vodacom to pay the please call me inventor and also the issue of the unbundling of ESCOM Braden which is very uh, topical at this point in time and which was resolved upon by the ANC's N uh, NEC Lukhutla to unbundle ESCOM and, pri and privatize uh, certain parts of ESCOM where you've seen the National Union of Mine Workers with their, with their region that has most of the coal mines in Mpumalanga in Haierfeld saying that if the government Lukhutla goes ahead with plans by the Department of Public Enterprises to unbundle and privatize certain parts of ESCOM, they would shut down the country and protest and even protest on voters' day, which would be when South Africans would be going to the polls in May. Thank you very much, Sam Gelo Maseko, there watching that uh, cabinet that's taking place uh, in Pretoria.